Hi, everybody. Welcome to Sunday School, virtual style. Uh, I'm Pastor Adam Ahrens, and we've got for you this morning a couple of things. We'll sing a song, we'll tell a story, and then we'll read a story, and then we'll pray. A little bit extra today. We are talking about the empty tomb. The empty tomb. And that is what we think about and what we read about on Easter Sunday, which was just was it this past week already. I think it was. So we will talk about the empty tomb as we celebrate, continue to celebrate that Jesus is risen. And we talk about being in the season of Easter for the next six weeks. So first up, a song. Before I play it, I want to go through the actions again. We did this a while ago. It's called Fill My Cup. You pretend like you've got an empty cup in front of you, that you have an um empty cup and you're hoping that it gets filled up. So here's how the song goes. I'm going to do the actions. We'll do this twice, and then I'll sing it with guitar, and you do the actions. Ready? It's like this. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Oh, yeah. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Let it overflow with love. One more time. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Oh, yeah. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Let it overflow with love. All right. I'm going to play it on guitar. You do the actions. I'll also throw in there, Jesus loves me, if I can remember the words. You ready? Here we go. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Uh, let's get in tune, shall we? Fill my cup and let it overflow. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Oh, yeah. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Let it overflow with love. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Oh, yeah. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Let it overflow with love. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Oh, yeah. Little ones to Him belong. They are weak, but He is strong. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Oh, yeah. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Let it overflow with love. Great singing. Good job. All right, now we're going to talk about this pastor I know. That's a pastor I know a long time ago. He was doing a children's sermon, and he came up front, and he had a whole bunch of Easter eggs. Did you get any Easter eggs in your Easter basket for Easter? I bet you might have. And he had all these Easter eggs like this. This one's shaped like Jesus, or like somebody who might be Jesus. He had all these Easter eggs, and he would open them up. And he gave one to everybody, and he said, all right, everybody, open your Easter Easter eggs. And they opened them up. All of them had chocolate or jelly beans or some kind of candy. They were very excited. Their parents were less excited. But one kid, one kid opened up an egg. It went like this. He was hopeful that it had a lot of candy in it. He opened it up, and his face went like this. Because his egg was empty. He was sad. He said, Pastor, I didn't get one. You forgot one. The pastor said, You, Billy, you got the most special egg of all. And Billy said, I didn't get anything. And the pastor said, Well, that is because your empty egg is good news. Billy wasn't so sure about that. How could an empty egg, how could emptiness be good news? The pastor said, that egg reminds us that when Jesus died and was laid in the tomb, some people, some of his followers, the women who followed him, some of the women who followed him, came to the tomb and they found it empty. They thought it would be filled, that, that Jesus' body would be in there, but it was not there. And this meant that Jesus was no longer dead, but Jesus had 
new life and came back for all of us to show that love is more powerful, that love is stronger than death. Let's read the story from our Spark Story Bible about the empty tomb. So here we go, the empty tomb. It was early in the morning, on the third day after Jesus died. The sky was pink and red with the first light of the sun. The women didn't notice the sky. They hurried to the cave that contained Jesus' body. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, led the way. Two others, Salome and Joanna, carried the spices to rub on the body of Jesus. They had a job to do. When the tomb of Jesus came into sight, they froze. Uh-oh. They had forgotten about the huge stone that sealed the opening to the cave. How would they move it? The women kept going to the cave anyway. As they came closer, the women could see that the stone had already been rolled away. They peeked inside. Ooh, it was dark in there. For her, it was cold in there. Trip, drop, it was damp in there. What? It was empty in there. Jesus was gone. An angel appeared in sparkling white clothes. The glow from the angel brightened even the darkest corners of the cave. The women shielded their eyes from the blinding light. Don't be afraid, the angel said. Jesus isn't here. This is a place for the dead. Jesus is alive. Hurry, the angel said. Go tell the disciples. The women did not delay. They ran to tell Jesus' friends what they had seen and heard. Oof! Mary bumped into a man, tripped and fell at his feet. Wait, she knew those feet. A familiar hand reached out to help her. Wait! She knew that hand. She looked up. Yes, she knew that smile. It was Jesus. Hello, friends, Jesus said. Jesus was really alive. The women hugged his feet and shouted with joy. Go tell the others the good news that I am alive, Jesus said. I will meet them in Galilee. I can't wait to see them again. The women had a new job to do. They had to tell everyone Jesus was alive. So, they had a new job to do. Jesus was alive. They went to tell everybody that the tomb was empty, and that emptiness was good news, because Jesus was stronger than even death. So, sometimes... Being empty is a good place to start. And the part of the story of Easter is that when something is empty, it can be filled up, like that love in our song. It can be filled up with love so that we can share it with others. Sometimes you might feel sad or lonely, but remember that God wants to fill that empty space, not with more sadness but with new life, new love, and joy to share, to live in a new way, living for loving others, even when you feel empty. God wants to fill that cup up and let it overflow with love. Let's pray about that today. You can take your hands, you can fold them, you can bow your head and repeat after me if you want. Dear God, thank you. For the empty tomb. Fill us up with your love and help us to share it and tell the good news. Amen. I hope you have a great week this week and remember Jesus is with you, love is with you, and God wants you to share that love. Amen.